So, um, I actually went through the installation of Solus OS on my Lappy, um, and I gotta say, I love their, appro their independent approach. I mean, if I have to state a few things that I'm liking, although I, <laughs> I installed uh, Solus like yesterday for a bet, and uh, yeah, I have to resist 30 days with Solus, and I win some sushi, which is pretty cool. Um, so pretty much what happens is I really like their approach, their minimalistic approach, their independent style, their EO package, which is pretty sick. It's nothing you see. Um, yeah, it's even pretty, um, let's say, um, coming from Arch, it's pretty sleek. I mean, they have the same uh, rolling release um, approach, so that's pretty cool. Um, but one thing, please, Solos Dev, if you're watching this video, please <laughs> integrate a way to use NVIDIA Optimus properly. I mean, okay, there's six org, but you can just um, use and make use of both the Intel and the, the GPU. Because come on, um, after you installed the NVIDIA drivers, uh, the first time, um, what happens was I was only using the dedicated GPU. I mean, that's okay, but what if, since this, since this is a laptop, what if I wanted that, I don't know, I have to travel and use my lappe for documents, office, and I don't really need that NVIDIA power. I'm screwed. <laughs> and that's where I come in. Well, not, not really me. But no one really talked about this in um, in YouTube. I, I found completely zero videos regarding. Just some posts on Solus Forum, which I am actually using for making this video. And let's even make uh, some updates because, come on, no one really talked about it, so I'm gonna talk about it. So, uh, how to make this working? Well, um, there I found on GitHub uh, in Soros forum, this yeah, this repository made by this guy Luxong W B U four. Thanks, really much, much appreciated. Thanks to him. Um, what you actually do is um, you simply download the whole uh, direct the whole um, repository and put it somewhere on, on your PC. I put it here. Uh, in in the download folder, then you can have end up with those five files. And uh, before going forward, uh, make sure that first your system is fully updated. Because come on, don't want to end up with a system that is half baked uh, and missing features. Two your latest NVIDIA drivers are installed, because you need it. Um, you, how to install it? There's a tool um, configured by Solus devs called Ardor Drivers. You go here, it's called Duflicky. Uh, you click on your NVIDIA driver, you click on also install 32-bit installer, and you click install. Pretty easy, boom. Install it, reboot, done. Third, uh, well, there's not really a third, um, but actually there is, and it, it's pretty awkward because uh, it's required by this script, but it's not really stated anywhere. I mean, it states the Nouveau driver, but the Nouveau driver is already blacklisted as soon as you install the NVIDIA dri graphics driver, so I mean, who cares? Um, so, uh, what you're gonna do before installing the script is actually reading a file that blacklists uh, the NVIDIA driver when you use the Intel configuration. I'm gonna show you later, don't worry. Um, so what you do pretty much is uh, sudo make dir p atc mod probe.d. You create this file, so you hit confirm. I already did it, so there's no need for me to do that again. And Echo, blacklist, well, of course, I have to use it as, echo, blacklist, 
Nvidia. And no, guys, it's not strange. Don't worry. <laughs> it's a script that goes in a file that we're gonna specify now. PDC modpro.d blacklist nvidia.conf you hit enter you hit enter and okay you can go ahead and continue with the installation wizard but you maybe want to know why and well it's stated here it's this comment here <laughs> just that the only difference is that it's not called nouveau but it's called nvidia why that because um, Solus doesn't use the Nouveau approach. He uses the NVIDIA approach because we just installed the, um, the NVIDIA drivers. If you want to use Nouveau with the Optimus solution, I mean, go ahead. Um, and instead of doing the NVIDIA thing, you do the Nouveau thing, like it's written here. And so maybe you want to play games. Maybe you want to, I don't know, doing videos. So you need that DGPU, that full speed. So yeah, this is what will let you do that. Um, and, but at the same time, um, what this two lines does is maybe you are, on, as I said before, you don't have an AC uh, adapter with you. You have only your battery and you wanna, I don't know, use the PC in the same way you do with the DGPU. That's pretty much it. Ooh, use. So you can pretty much go ahead and uh, do that because you're gonna, we're gonna take usage of this. Uh, going forward, I'm talking a bit too much here. Um, we have to install these files. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and open up um, an instance of Nautilus as root. Um, and first and foremost, we're gonna take care of this 99nvidia.conf. This file goes in ATC GDM. Boom, you do that, and we are done. Then there's this .service file, this NVIDIA Optimus Auto Config, that, do, that goes into ATC, uh, should be somewhere here, System D, System, pick this Auto Config, boom, and you paste it here. This Python script, because it's Python, uh, the script is written in Python, uh, goes into USR or user. Well, it's not really user, it's universal uh, system, probably. I don't know. I don't remember the, the slang. Maybe you guys can correct me in the comment section below um, if you want. Um, user uh, bin, boom, paste it in and we are done reboot your system and if everything went accordingly if you now write nvidia optimus manager in a terminal you're gonna see those four options the first one lists you what currently profile you're using there are three profiles that are usable varying on the type of gpu you're using or situation you want to configure and those are nvidia which only use the dgpu intel that only use the eGPU, so only your internal graphics for really non-demanding uh, applications like watching videos for example and there's there's hybrid but it didn't really work for me, maybe for you it will work, that what it does is um, it uses the iGPU for all your uh, non-demanding tasks and calls upon the NVIDIA GPU when you want to play a game, so you have, I don't know, some deep learning stuff in the background. Yeah, that's where hybrid comes in. But there's not uh, like a prime run or a command that you can use for really taking advantage of the uh, NVIDIA GPU when in offloading mode. So it really stacks up to you. <laughs> I mean, you can try, uh, let me know, 
uh, if it works. Um, I prefer um, to really choose which of the two cards to use because it even consumes less power than using both together. If I use the hybrid solution, I just start to pick power from the battery, power from the AC. I mean, it's not really cool. But this was happening in Manjaro. I mean, if you want the same video on Manjaro, guys, let me know, because I know there are people that have difficulty doing these things, and I mean, I, I did a lot of this stuff in my uh, during past months, <laughs> because I jumped completely uh, from Windows to Linux, and I, I, I simply love it. But there are a lot of points that a lot of users can have issues with, so I mean, I'm here to help. But today we're gonna follow, we're gonna focus on solos, and I have to win my free sushi from here. Then, uh, if you wanna jump from, let's say, a profile to another one, so from a from a, a graphics card to another one, you simply write the same command followed by configure, and then you pick the profile you wanna load. So if you wanna hybrid, you load hybrid, and you confirm. When I use NVIDIA, boom, and configure, and press enter. And then there's auto configure, which what it does is checks your system, see if there's an AC power, um, configures the power management, does all the stuff for you. Uh, I haven't tested uh, because I don't really use it. Um, but I mean, if you want to try out, go ahead you're good to go. And another thing, uh, this is tested for Intel NVIDIA uh, combination. I haven't found anything regarding AMD NVIDIA. And if you're one of those guys, I mean, I don't know because I haven't found anything. Thanks you for watching. I sincerely apologize for this video to be this long. I mean, I'm gonna cut it anyways. <laughs> because um, 15 minutes, uh, it's not for anyone. So I mean, um, I'm gonna touch it a little bit and using KD in live, first time using it. So I mean, if you find this video to be awful in quality or awful in, <laughs> it's my first time using um, KD in live. I'm a DaVinci Resolve user, but I wanna try something else sometimes. But yeah, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, let me know if you succeeded in the comment section, like give, I mean, it's your discretion if you want to follow this um, this channel, I do some tutorials on Linux probably, <laughs> and something else too, maybe some gameplay, I did some Rayman uh, uh, a year ago, uh, yeah, I, though I have to finish it, <laughs> I did some uh, tutorials for the Xiaomi Mi 9 C which is the my now become Bruce pod, which is literally an iPod uh, because uh, I recovered it. And that's pretty much it. Thank you guys. See you later. Uh, have a nice day.